Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, here's a challenge problem for you. This is kind of a summary of theorems 8.1, 8.2, and 8.3. So I'm given the right triangle ABC, and I draw the altitude. The altitude splits the hypotenuse BC into two segments, BD and DC. BD is 4, and DC is 7. So the question is, with this example, what's the measure of the two legs of the right triangle when the altitude is drawn, and what is the length of the altitude? So I'm going to call the altitude x. We're going to be solving for that. And I'm going to call one leg a, b, um, y, and I'm going to use the variable z for the other leg a, c. All right, first of all, let's solve for x. Now you remember that the altitude is the geometric mean between the two parts of the hypotenuse that are formed. So x goes in those two places in my proportion, and 4 goes in one place, and 7 goes in the other. So when I solve for x, I'm going to cross multiply. x squared must equal 28. Answer, x equals 5.29, which is 5.3 approximately. All right, remember you can pause this movie at any time. Let's solve for the y leg. Now in theorem 8-3, it says that the y leg of the original right triangle is the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse and the entire hypotenuse, which is 11. So y squared equals 44, y equals 6.6. .6. All right, let's solve for z. Well, z is the other leg of the triangle. And so we're going to be putting that in the geometric mean position in our proportion because that leg of the triangle, z, is the geometric mean between the near part, which is 7, and the entire hypotenuse, 11. So z squared equals 77, and z is going to equal 8.77, which is 8.8. .8. All right, I hope you're able to figure that out. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.